hailed as the father of Philippine luxury retailing by the Philippine Retailers Association, Dr. Bienvenido R. Tantoco Sr. is an icon and elder statesman of the business community with a success story that has become the stuff of legend. In 1952, Dr. Tantoco and his late wife, Gliceria, founded Rustanz, which was a combination of their surnames, Rustia and Tantoco. What began as a small home venture run from their living room grew to become the country's premier high-end department store. Today, Dr. Tantoco is the chairman of the Rustan Group of Companies, a multifaceted conglomerate that represents, markets, and promotes many of the world's most well-known brands. But before he achieved success, Dr. Tantoco went through many hardships and challenges. At 16, he became his family's sole breadwinner when his father passed away. Being the uh, second eldest, the eldest was a musician. So he figured he had to be the one to take everything very seriously. He was at a stage of his life where he had nothing and he felt hopeless because he, he at that stage in his life, he felt that if you don't have a college degree, then the, the, the success that you can achieve in life and the means that you will have to support your family hanggang dito lang. Determined to finish his education, he worked by day selling tickets at a cinema while taking night classes as a full scholar at Jose Rizal College. His diligent and persistent efforts paid off when he graduated with distinction and a degree in commercial arts, and he was able to rise up the ranks to become a manager in his work. After marriage on their trips abroad, Gliceria would buy hard-to-find merchandise, which they would then sell to neighbors and friends. As the business grew, Dr. Tantoco decided to devote himself full-time to converting the small and growing enterprise into an efficient and professionally managed retail business. This would become the seed for Rustan's department store. Even after decades of success and countless new projects that he personally spearheaded, like the acquisition of the Starbucks master franchise, the development of Shopwise and Royal Duty Free, and the growth of IDFS Morocco, Dr. Tantoco never forgot his roots and the working class values that made him the man he is today. Hard work, perseverance, and integrity. He has an innate sense of um, being uh, very involved and very detailed in, in the way he looks at things. Uh, as, as they always say, retail is detail, and you can de definitely see that characteristic in him. He is a very good coach and mentor. I learn a lot from him and the values that he in inflicted in me, I still carry it and, br uh, and bring it uh, to my work until today. He is a believer in people and their critical role in the development and prosperity of an organization. Dr. Tantoco is also extremely grateful to his alma mater for the generous support of his education. Thus, he is also a firm believer that anybody can attain success if given the right opportunities. That's why, aside from his many other philanthropic works, Dr. Tantoco is a conscientious patron of his hometown school in Bulacan and, of course, Jose Rizal University. You could see how he values Malolo so much. His, his grade school, his elementary. In fact, there is a line that, um, that I learned from Donnie. His Lolo would always say, kung ano, ko, kung ano ako ngayon, utang na loob ko sa Malolos. On his end, it was the, the foundation of most of his successes. 
And what he's made us realize is that education helps you fulfill the potential and gifts and talents God gave you. For his unwavering support of education, Jose Rizal University has bestowed Dr. Tantoco with a doctorate in humanities and named two professorial chair programs after him. This 2015, in celebration of his milestone 94th birthday, Jose Rizal University is once again proud to pay homage to one of its most outstanding alumni with this latest tribute, naming its Graduate School of Business in his honor. The new Dr. Bienvenido R. Tantoco Senior Graduate School of Business is backed by a thoroughly developed academic and research curriculum with esteemed faculty who are recognized and published scholars and are experts in their respective fields. Through the graduate school, José Rizal University hopes to develop leaders and industry captains in the fields of business, entrepreneurship, and organizational development, fields close to the heart of Dr. Tantoco. He was a man who succeeded without compromising his honor and integrity. And I tried to follow him, him in that way. He's the best listener in the world to converse with. You just want to open up your heart and your soul and you want to say everything to him. And you feel really comfortable doing that because he's just such an excellent listener. And on the other side, he's allowed me to remember to always have faith. All of this without spirituality is empty. And things with spirituality without this, you're not practicing your spirituality. So that's how he's influenced me. As a grandfather, uh, Lolo Benny has always been um, a, a very caring and, and doting grandfather to all his, his grandchildren and now his great-grandchildren you know, through the years. Um, I have many, many, many fond memories um, uh, of him and uh, being with him uh, in, in our younger days uh, and up until today, in fact. Tito Benny, of course, has achieved so much in his life. You know? I mean, what he achieved in his lifetime, uh, we will never achieve in multiple lifetimes. And despite all his successes and all the, no, all the um, different levels of accomplishment in different fields that he has really enjoyed, he remains to be a Bulacenio, uh, Malolos, you know, which is also my hometown. He has inspired me uh, to start my work prayerfully and then uh, plan carefully and uh, set the roadmap so that we will ensure success of the business go. A self-made man, Dr. Tantoco has contributed much to Philippine retailing and invested in the education of deserving yet underprivileged students. For his many achievements in Philippine business and education, the inspiring legacy of Dr. Tantoco will be felt for many generations of Filipinos to come. Um, Lolo Benny, you once told me when I was visiting Malolos Public School and also attending an event with you in Jose Rizal University. And you told me that you were very happy that I was with you because you said Malolos Public School and JRU is where your roots are. And you said, you told me that a person cannot be strong, cannot be successful, cannot live a life that is meaningful unless they remain connected to their roots. I understand from spending so much time with you that Malolos Public School and JRU are very important parts of your roots. All I want you to know today, Lolo, is that your roots are also my roots. And I promise you that for the rest of my life, 
I will also devote myself to supporting Malolos Public School and also to supporting JRU. Lolo Benny, my sincerest congratulations to you on this um, occasion. Uh, it is indeed a great honor for, a, for an institution that you hold so dear um, to, to be honoring you um, in, this, in this manner. Uh, my sincerest congratulations, my sincerest thanks uh, on behalf of not only myself, but um, my entire family and my extended family um, for all that you have done for us and um, uh, continue to do uh, in, in the many years ahead. Congratulations and thank you so much. On your 94th birthday, we continue to celebrate the provision of you and GRT's lifelong servitude in fulfilling the worthy aspirations of the society, of which the legacy you built has earned the sterling benchmark of luxury retailing in the Philippines. Congratulations, sir, for staying strong and sharp. Your nuggets of wisdom, delivered in the most refined manner, will continue to be ingrained to generations to come. Although I just like to say how very proud I am of you. Your contribution and support to Jose Rizal University's management education program is such a thoughtful and meaningful way for you to pay it forward, to pay forward all the blessings that you have received throughout your life. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your contribution to the building of our nation. Congratulations, Lolo, and I love you very much. It's amazing that at your 94th year, I'm congratulating you again for another achievement. And every year, there is something that I'm congratulating you on. So, Lolo, thank you for inspiring us always to never stop working, helping, and leading by example. Thank you and congratulations again. Uh, Tito Benny, uh, it's been really a grace for me to have known you and uh, not just really known you, but to really grow in appreciation of your own journey. Uh, I'd like you to know that if you if you feel that you know we, I am accompanying you spiritually, and you know, I think more than you think, you really accompany me and others spiritually. And uh, you are the real, I think, you're the real authority of life. Happy birthday! <laughs> I'm glad that he was able to pay back, uh, pay back not only his school, but his uh, province and society. And uh, because of all the blessings that he got, I'm very proud of it and. I believe that uh, I'm so honored that I have the same name as him. <laughs> In the words of Dr. Tantoko, one must never stop learning because the whole world is a classroom and every person you meet is a potential teacher.